Today, Mac Hit Tools, let's explore this brand new Hilti 22 volt single handed reciprocating saw. The model number for this is SR422. It is a single handed reciprocating saw. Now, this is a brand new tool, and I'm actually excited to test this out. I wanted this since I saw it over in Switzerland, and I'm actually excited about this. And of course, it does not come with a box, it just came in bubble wrap, instructions, and the tool itself. Garbage. This is not Hilti's first single-handed reciprocating saw. I actually did multiple videos on the 12-volt version, and it is actually a very powerful single-handed 12-volt reciprocating saw. And there is a big size difference between these two for obvious reasons. Check out VCG Construction. This is footage from back in the day just to show you that I did a lot of videos on 12-volt single-handed reciprocating saws. These videos are so funny to you guys. I've been doing this stuff for years. Once again, the metal number is SR422. It is 3,000 strokes per minute, and the stroke length is 29 and 30 seconds. This single-handed reciprocating saw is designed for wood with metal, wood with nails, wood composites, wood, steel, stainless steel, sandwich panel, plywood, plastic, metal sheet, metal, masonry, hollow brick, drywall, and cast iron. We will be testing out the 2.6 amp hour as well as the 4 amp hour. The 2.6 amp hour battery has 18650 cells and the 4 amp hour battery has 21700 cells. and it does have an adjustable shoe. It is a nice looking tool, you guys. It does have a lock and unlock feature for the trigger for safety features. So let's get to it and test this bad boy out and see what this could actually do. The single handed reciprocating saw costs about $180, tool only. Of course, it comes with the bubble wrap and instructions. And I just wanted to test it out on this log to see on how well it actually does. And yes, this log is not 100% solid. There is a little portion of this to where it is just rotted through. That is why I chopped the branch down. I did not want it affecting the rest of the tree, so it needed to go. Let's try this out on the material. This is the two amp hour. We are using the nine inch Milwaukee reciprocating saw blade. Let's see how well this does against the four amp hour. I'm not expecting too much since it's its first video, but 15.28 seconds for the two amp hour. And that is 12.16 seconds. And so that adds just a few second difference. Not bad for its first video. This is the two amp hour battery again. 12.97 seconds. And the 4 amp hour is 11.90 seconds, so not even a second difference, you guys. Let's try this on the metal. We are using a fresh blade, but I did a lot of cuts on this already that led up to this point. 19.34 seconds. And as you can see, this is what I did first. The copper pipe is in between the PVC pipe, and it just wouldn't go. As you can see, it does cut copper pipe very easily. And so, yeah, I am going to perfect this test, you guys. I want this test to be hardcore and majorly abuse these tools. I want multiple layers of multiple material in that pipe. Temperature is 122 degrees. I abused the crap out of this thing. That's why it got so hot. I worked on that pipe for like five minutes. All right, so I just wanted to do this video on this reciprocating saw because usually the first video breaks the tool in. Like I said, when it comes to that metal pipe test, I'm trying to perfect that. I try to throw a copper pipe in there to see if it'll work. And obviously it vibrated and just moved around with the, with the blade. So I got to work on that. But that, uh, but that test will be perfected and I want that pipe completely compact with more piping inside of different materials i think it'll just make a good test so i just want to explore this in my opinion it's not bad uh for the size just because just because of the size of it i'd say it might be a little underpowered but it's its first video and all tools you know sort of do bad on their first video they get better as the videos commence and so yeah uh i didn't see a 
too big of a difference between the batteries. The battery life remaining for the 4 amp hour is full and the battery life remaining on the 2.6 amp hour is at half. Uh, I abused the crap out of this with that pipe test because I was doing that for like 5 minutes just to see how long it would take. You guys probably saw all the scratches on the copper pipe. Uh, just because, yeah, it would have just kept on just moving inside the PVC pipe and inside the two and a half inch galvanized pipe. So, so Versa Vita is coming up, you guys. We are going to see if this is worth buying over the Cobalt, the Flex, the Ryobi, Milwaukee, and DeWalt. Those videos are coming up in the future, so please subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.